Hey everybody, Brandon Bryant, Red Tree Builder, standing outside of 29 Tulip Poplar Drive, our custom built house here in the Olivet community, and Agrihood community here in Asheville, North Carolina. This is a craftsman style home that we built for our custom client this year. And uh, we want to showcase it to you and show you all the fine details and craftsmanship that we were able to do in it. Come on in and let's check it out. So we're inside our house here in Olivet. And what we like to do here at Red Tree is use local artists when we can. And so these pendant lights we have here are hand-blown glass from the company Lexington Glass here in downtown Asheville. Not only did they do our pendants for us, they also did our stairwell lights where you can see our blue when we started strategically placing the darkest one up top and working its way down to the lightest one. One of the things we love doing is mixing metal and wood. They work so great together, give a real clean modern look, but still have that craftsman's feel to it. So in this house we had our local blacksmith create all flat bars here. He did all these in his shop. Once he brought them in, we came in and plowed in a piece of wood handrail on top, stained in, bolted from underneath here. Just have a real clean look, but still have a little softness adding that wood to it. So bent down here in the floor of our custom house. One of the things here in Asheville that we really deal with is mixed um, climate. So, and hence we end up with our hardwood floors having a lot of movement in them. So one thing that we're using now is a fit box. And so this is embedded in our hardwood floor. So right here it is inside that um, floor. And you take a magnet just like this, and you kind of just run it over and that'll wake it up. And then when you take out your smartphone, you would have an app and you would just go to it. And so we can actually get real accurate readings of moisture in our hardwood floors. Our traditional way would be coming out here and, and putting some two needles right on the top of the floor trying to gauge this. What we found is this is fantastic to give our homeowners a lot of data information along with us, kind of figure out when it's been high, when it's been low. So we can track it for six months to up to a year to see when we're having issues, if we're even having issues. So we're looking forward to actually putting this as the standard in all our homes going forward. It's from Fitbox and it's embedded in our hardwood floor. So one of the standards that we make here at Red Tree Builders is that we use what's called a Legrand. It's a modular track system. It has our lights in here with a dimmable track. And then with our, all our plugs here, it has other modules that we can have here where we can have actually iPad or USB chargers. The reason we do this is because we are trying to build beautiful homes without the ugly per code um, outlets that are in the backsplash. So you can see from this one, we've got a full on tile. It's all glass tile. And it just looks like a piece of art with our plugins disappearing up here. So in this house, we use the Legrand Adorn series. And this is over our plates on all our light fixtures and outlets down below. Well, what's great about these are, is it's actually even a little piece of art here. So instead of the cheap plastic covers, we've got a hard piece of metal here, and then set in our dimmers. The other cool thing that I love about these, we don't have the screws. So it's plated in, snaps into place, and has a real nice, finished edge throughout the house. One of the things here at Red Tree we do is mindfully build. So we're having conversations with our clients about how they live in their house and what are their habits and their functions. And in this house, we had a client that really loved hot tea. And so the one thing we did was put instant hot water here at her kitchen. And then within seconds, you can see the steam coming up, she can have her hot tea any time of the day she wants it. One of the cool things that we have is in um, their social media is Instagram. And there's a great builder community out there. And uh, we find some great products and see what a lot of builders across the US are using. We came across these vents a few weeks ago and installed them in this house. And so we think they absolutely look beautiful in a home. So we're able to take our tile, put in here, even do our grout line in here. So it just looks flawless. We've had a lot of people ask us, you know, what kind of airflow are you getting through here? Um, and as you can see, it flows on all four sides. It's got a nice gap through here. So we, when we measured our house, we didn't lose any airflow. But what we did gain was a beautiful look, not the metal registers. And uh, these guys can be found on the internet. 
um, and just loving them on our floors. We've done tile, we've done luxury vinyl floor, and now we're looking to start doing the drywall returns and hardwood floors on the next house. So with our building science and our um, green building that we do here at Red Tree, so one of the things we want to do is put a smart thermostat in. And one of the ones we use a lot is this train. It allows us to know a lot of information, but the number one thing we want to do for our client is make them comfortable. And what's awesome about this thermostat is, is it's got the outdoor temperature, it gives us the indoor humidity, but it also allows us to be able to remotely on our smartphone, change the temperatures. So you're sitting on the couch, you don't want to get up, you can change that, but you can also keep the setting in. If you just love it at 70, you can set it for the cool at 72, heat at 68, so you've got that little window there. Um, one of the coolest thermostats out there with a lot of bells and whistles built into it. So you're finding me in a garage, which is not a normal place that you would highlight a house. But what we've done in this house, and what we is one of our standards, is put an exhaust fan inside the garage. One of the couple things you'll find in a garage is there's a ton of off-gassing from your car 15, 20 minutes after it's turned off, and you bring it inside, and then all of a sudden it's off-gassing. In this particular home, we have space finished above, so we have closed cell insulated the ceiling in here, but we also put this exhaust on here, so it's motion activated and on a timer. The other thing is, is in the summertime, it gets quite hot hot here in Asheville. And so inside these garages, you can get warm. So also this fan is to remove some of that heat that built up in here. One of the things that Asheville is known for is the outdoor living and just getting outside and enjoying life. That's from this house, the French Broad River is right down there or some mountain bike trails. So in this house, we do a lot of standard is our lift master garage door opener side mounted. So what that allows us to do is have clean out all the above ceiling for all sorts of hanging storage from bikes to paddle boards to kayaks, you name it, you can store it up there. You can even store your kids up there if you wanted to. But the cool thing is, is these are all out operated. So if you are coming home, you can open it. If you forgot, yeah, close the garage door. They're also activated where you can close your garage doors with your smartphone. So the one of the things we like to do is artfully build our homes. And when we're in the planning process, there's certain things we just don't anticipate. And this is one of them. We have a return grill right here in the walkway as you first come in the garage, coming into the main part of your house. So we went to our custom wood shop, had this custom made return grill here done. So it can be, fits in with the house. Also artfully done, very decorative. Just one of the things we're looking for when we're building houses to kind of go above and beyond for our clients. So we take great pride here at Red Tree in our mechanical rooms. So we always like to think that this is the brain, the lungs, the heart of the house. And then this is really where every bit of the house is kind of working and operating. So we drywall and finish off every one of our mechanical rooms. In this particular house, we've got a geothermal unit. And so with geothermal, there is no outside door unit and we're using the earth to heat and cool the house. So this is the system right here with our ductwork going out. And um, we are looking at behind me, the ERV, which I always feel like is the lungs of the house. This is, we built a super tight house, and now we're going to have filter air come throughout the house, and we're going to control when we get air in, when it should be done, but also we're going to get all the pollutants, allergies, to take care of those for our clients with this thing. So that's built into our ductwork system, our geothermal. The other thing, we're on um, city water here, and there's for good and bad reasons. They put a lot of chemicals and stuff in our city water. So this is a whole house water purification system. We put this in so not only is it the drinking water, but it's what you're showering in to make sure that our clients are feel like it's fitting their lifestyle of what they're wanting to, to get here in Asheville. The other thing we have is a humidifier. So in the winter time, we do have quite a bit of cold temperatures and we can dry out a house. So this thing's set up to only come on during certain times of the year, because in the summertime, we definitely don't need to be adding moisture. We're trying to take it out here in Asheville. So that's what we've got here is our humidifier. Lastly, the other standard we put in all our homes is a hybrid hot water heater. We used for years to do tankless hot water heaters. And one of our number one callbacks was, I don't have hot water. It was never instant hot water, which is what everybody thought. It was endless hot water. So this thing does the best of both worlds. Super high efficient. See, this is an 80 gallon tank, costing them about roughly $150 a year to heat and hot, hot water. You've got several modes. If you're on vacation, one of the things is you don't end up having to heat the hot water in here. You put it on vacation mode 
and your most efficient here is, is a little mini heat pump built in here. It takes a little longer to heat your hot water, but certainly more efficient than a um, tank. And also you can get hot water almost instantly as opposed to a tankless. So we're down here checking out some countertops. Our client wanted all natural stone in throughout our house. So, so this is a labyrinth countertop and you can see it's kind of got a cosmic feel to it. It's got certain blues and, and other golds that kind of pop out of it. Other great thing is, is using our Legrand under cabinet lights, we was able to do a full backsplash and not cut in there for our um, plug. So it gives this bar a full, complete look and a real showstopper, a real conversation piece for our client. So in our design phase, we talked a lot about this hallway and it goes over to a craft room. And what we really wanted to do is give it a purpose and a sense of why we have this here, this hallway. And so we put a bookcase in here, it should go case books, artwork, anything like that. And along with that, we have two gable ends coming this way. So we was able to put a door in here to go to the storage room. And then we had the same thing here. So here's what we did. We went and did a hidden bookcase to the same size room over here. It could be used as a safe room. It could be used for the kids' playroom, just get away. But all the time, we're always looking for somehow we can hide away secret little things that people wouldn't know that we've done just as a, a little extra adage to our custom home building style. So we're here at our Olivet house in the uh, lower part on the basement. And we're always looking where we can expand some outdoor living. And then this property has a view of the French Broad River, but up above you can see we put a TNG ceiling in here. We're able to do this by using the Trex underneath decking gutter system. And so that complete, every bit of this down here can be dry and can be used for all four seasons. The one thing that kind of we proud ourselves on was thinking through this, that the gutter system is running through that box system and you can see the gutter that we had and it went through the rock work. So we have three of these throughout here catching water on that deck. And when we made this an outdoor living area, we had a retaining wall here. So we went and got us a mural artist to do a, um, a rendering of a hummingbird. We used the leftover part of our mantle on our fireplace inside the house to give us a floating bench so our client can sit out here and enjoy this. One of the uh, details that we put on all our homes as a standard is this aqua water um, spout. And as you can see, it's on here on the back of the house and it's covered so we don't have to worry about water um, dripping out or freezing. And so we have an attachment, we just screw it in here and then it works, but we don't have any of the leakage that we'd worry about or the freezing from this and this is one of the details that we put in every one of our homes. One of the growing trends we have in our design of our homes is outdoor living. From this house, you can see we've got rock work going all the way to the ceiling, full structural cedar beams with the e decking and custom metal handrails. So we spend a lot of time in our design phase talking about how we want to live outside, outdoors, create it like a three season room. This one's not screened in, but it is covered to allow our client to have an amazing view from the for the river. And that's really what we're doing in our design phase is coming out here on site visits, figuring out how in our design of our homes to take advantage of views in outdoor living. So Red Tree Builders, our logo is a bonsai tree. So here I am with a bonsai tree. So every one of our homes that we build, we give our clients a bonsai tree to kind of help them rem remember what we put into their house and also it's just kind of a cool tree, right? But the principles of our building style go along with the bonsai. Just as a bonsai tree, you take a lot of time of studying it, looking at it before you start cutting off the limbs and forming it and creating a piece of art that you do with a bonsai tree. There's a lot more time spent into thinking about the bonsai than actually working on the bonsai. In the same way we approach our building style, we uh, mindfully build, which means that we are thinking through the design process, thinking through all the intricate parts of the house. So when we do build it, we can artfully do it, and we're doing it one time, and it's a beautiful thing that we thought through every aspect of the house, how our clients live through it, live in the house, how's their lifestyle, to how comfortable they want it, where the window placement should be, where the views are, where the outdoor living um, can be most taken advantage of. So that's one of the reasons why our logo is a bonsai tree here at Red Tree, and we really fully embrace the art of the bonsai.